Six months ago, your lung function was at 65%. Now you're down to 47. What do you think it's going to be next month, guys? So I'll get an oxygen tank. Awesome. So one day you go to bed, you asphyxiate in your sleep, you die. It's my spine, man. It's my spine. One false move from you, and I'm paralyzed. Hi. I have done 23 of these kyphosis surgeries. Every one of these patients is walking tall now, OK? Well, maybe I'm just learning to accept myself for who I am, hunchback and all. All right, the fact you're using pejorative like hunchback suggests to me you might not be entirely happy. I would rather be a hunchback than a quadriplegic. Also, women kind of, uh, kind of dig my imperfection. Dude with dudes. Okay, by definition, we're entirely imperfect. Listen, I'm offering you a straighter spine. I'm not getting the operation. I'm sorry. Okay. She also has very beautiful eyes. See, now you're just being cruel. I guess you're more of a leg man, right? Look, you're not the one that might die up there on the operating table. Is that what you're afraid of, Kai, dying? No, I'm not. No. Death is not feared by those who have lived wisely. Get a minute. You're terrified of anesthesia, of incision, of quadriplegia. I mean, you know what? Most of all, I think that you are just afraid of change. For you, kyphosis has become more like a, a shield, like a, like a place to hide. Here's the truth. If you don't have the surgery, you're gonna suffocate, Kai. That's... The time is now. All right, if I do this, will you let me do one thing for you? L uh, what? No, no, no. You don't get to ask what. Just answer with the gut. All right. All right, then. Really? OK, so, uh, so I can get you prepped? Um, so this music is intensely eerie. Is it creeping anyone else out? Oh. I like it. Yeah, because it sounds like you dance. Well, that's what he wanted, so... If it helps him heal on some subconscious level, I say crank it. Probe, please. This is an excellent posterior decompression, Joel. You sound surprised. I've just never seen such elegance from an orthopod. Ouch. OK, so closing the osteotomy, let's just keep an eye on any changes here. Straight spine's not going to mean a damn thing. This guy, if he's paralyzed. Big D, get in here, can you? Can you place a hand underneath both knees and just lift his legs gently? Thank you. Little more, please. Little more. More. Hold that position just there. Check his MEPs. How are they? They're all good. OK, Shahir, you're up. Let's do this. Wow. Those bones like butter. Um, what kind of butter? Is there more than one kind of butter? Yes, there, there are several, Joel. OK. Well, it, was, it was a metaphor. Now, Joel, like butter is a simile. Let's just try and get Siddhartha out of here and into recovery, shall we? His name's Kai. Your kyphosis patient is not doing well. Raycraft's in there. What's going on? He's clutching his gut and vomiting. You didn't feed him, right? No, he's picking up a lot of bile. Is it dark green? It's more like a forest green. It's dark green. No, that's hunter green. Let's get an IV morphine infusion at four milligrams an hour. No, 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 no pain meds. Don't do that. Uh, he's got addiction issues, okay? This is going to get worse before it gets better. No narcotics. Give me uh, four minutes on and for nausea and one liter bolus of normal saline Jackson draw, CBC electrolytes, and creatinine. Oh, Done. Why is this happening to me? Sometimes when we straighten the spine, it puts strain on the internal organs. Uh, CT scan shows that his duodenum is being compressed by a superior mesenteric artery. Why didn't you warn me about it? We went over all possible complications, Kai. Yeah, but this is exactly what I was afraid of. It's temporary and it's very manageable. 
signal. Should have given me a heads up about the operation. How do you get a debate this, or are you going to come up with a solution here? Sometimes the solution is to do nothing. Right now, you want to do nothing. <laughs> what Dr. Raycroft means, Kai, is that we're probably going to have to feed you by IV for a few days, just give your stomach a bit of a rest. And what if that doesn't work? Oh, then I'll have to go in. You mean, like, operate again? That's what I have to look forward to? You said you would fix me. Right. Oh, God! Oh, all right, okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> I guess he's feeling better. The guy just got cut open, his spine is filled with bolts and rods, and he could sit up erect like that? Dead still. No pain meds? It's amazing. It might never matter. That's a strong mind. Just make sure he stays in bed, right? Yeah. Really shouldn't be up and about. Yeah, no, it's okay. I seem to have the pain under control. Well, that's great. Um, you should probably still lie down. Yeah, I know. It's just, um, well, I... <laughs> I haven't seen my face in a mirror over a sink for seven years. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get you back to bed. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I am definitely going to be doing more walking meditations. Let's do a walking meditation back to your bed. You know, you really should try it. What, meditation? No, I don't have the time. Well, your problem is you've got too much time. What? You're always you're filling your schedule, checking your phone. Oh, well, that's the life of a surgeon. What time is it? It's 5.30. No, it's not. Time is now. This is the moment you need to be in. You gotta be present. You know, I kind of get what you're talking about in the OR. When it's just me, the bone to fix, the problem to solve, that's sort of when the world falls away for me. What if I told you that you could have that feeling anytime, any place? You sound like a drug dealer. We had an arrangement. I would get the surgery and you would let me do one thing for you. Right. That. Yeah, that. OK, so what do I do now? Breathe through your nostrils. Uh, breathe how? What do you mean, breathe how? I mean, how do I breathe? I no, not... you breathe like a human being breathes. Breathe no, in. No, you're just being malicious, that's all. Breathe in. Be aware of your breathing. Feel the breath on top of your lip there. Feel your body relaxing. Be aware of it. This is excruciatingly boring. Well, then you're boring. You know, that's fine. Just let go of your boringness. Breathe. See what life brings. <laughs> 